yung akala natin natapos na si Infinix with the competition with their Note 30, Hot 30, 30 series. Ang sabi niya, hindi pa kami tapos. Meron pang mas malupit kaming ipapakita. Here comes the Infinix Note 30 VIP. Na-review ko na lahat. Infinix Hot 30, 30i. No 30, 4G, 5G. Anong sinabi mo? 5G lang pala. And the results were incredible. Guys, kung si Hot 30, 30 series, ganito lang. No 30, ganito. Si No 30 VIP is all the way up here. Napakalaking lundag po in terms of specs. Guys, ang sasabi ko lang naman is, if you're going to buy this with your money, sobrang, sobrang sulit. Unang-una, processor pa lang ha. Dimensity 8050 5G processor, 700,000 points and Tutu benchmark. It's got a 68 watt all around fast charge. And guess what? Meron pa siyang 50 watts wireless charge. A 120 hertz 10 bit AMOLED eye care display. 108 MP master triple camera. The speaker niya meron JBL. At meron pa siyang 21 gigabyte na RAM. Put that in your. Head. Yung akala mo, you've seen everything. But no, you haven't seen nothing yet. Ito na po si Infinix Note 30 VIP. It's Vince and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo! Oh, by the way, if you want to check out the full specs of this phone, put ka lang sa unboxdiaries.com. We've got it all for you. Now, first of all, ang kanyang box ay mas bongga kaysa sa mga ibang models ni Infinix. Mas shiny siya. My sound by JBL, my wireless charging, get that, 21 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte. The other specs ay nasa likod, but this right here is only a cover. Ooh. Whoa! May kasamang 15 watts wireless fast charging pad. Ay, dalawa pala. So, libre na to? Wow, lib libre na. Guys, may freebie yung box. We all love freebies, no? Oh, man, ito. So, here's the box, and the color we have here is... Glacier white. Meron pa siya bang colors? Ito po yun. Ooh, look at that plastic. Kakaiba na yung plastic na yun, no? It's this nice glossy plastic. But it feels so different. Mamaya ka na. Look at that. VIP. At dito sa baba, may nakasabing take charge 24-7. The box is long just like the Zero Ultra last year. Which means social po siya na phone. Here is... The Ward card. Ah, gets ko na kasi si VIP is the flagship, yung pinakamagandang version ni Note 30 series. That's why ganito yung kanyang packaging. And right beneath, we are, ooh, hard case. Na, may JBL yung kanyang hard case. Of course, may kasama din siyang, ooh, screen protector. Extra ba to? Mamaya malaman natin. At yes, meron siyang tempered glass. Yan na may pang-install siya, oh. Kasama. In the box. Ooh! Lucky naman ito. Whoa, Infinix 98 million. 68 watt fast charger. And right here we're getting a USB Type-C cable. And last but not least is the SIM ejector pin. Ay, di ba pala ito yung last? Meron pala siyang kasamang wireless charging pad. Supports Qi and App standard protocols. And this, may user manual. There you go. The Infinix branded wireless charging pad. Uh, which is same din sa ginagawa na yung bang mga wireless charging phones yung... Which is, ipapatong mo lang siya dito sa pad para mag-charge siya. But yes, you do have to connect the charging pad to a USB Type-C cable na nakakapit pa rin sa charger na yan. Ito na, ang phone. The Infinix Note 30 VIP actually just looks like a regular Note 30. Yung 4G, 5G, and the VIP are actually just the same. In terms of design, Ganito po yung tura niya. It is a box type, flat back, matte finish, gradient back design na napakalaki ng camera module taking up a lot of space at the back. We've got here two massive cameras sa likod and two small ones. Well, actually, isa lang pala. Kasi yung isa ay LED flash. That is a 108MP main camera sensor, 2MP depth sensor, and 2MP macro lens. Yung gilid niya ay chrome. Very premium yung kanyang feels. And just like the Note 30 series, sound by JBL. Dalawa, dual stereo speakers siya, sa taas at sa ilalim. We're getting a nice balanced placing dito ng power button, volume rockers, medyo na sa gitna. Sa taas po yung microphone, the speaker, another speaker sa ilalim, USB Type-C port, microphone, and the headphone jack. And of course, the left side is kanyang SIM tray, na mayroong dual nano SIM card slot plus micro SD card slot for expandability. That is on top pa ng kanyang internal storage na 256GB 
Napakalaki niyan. Yung pala yung only variant available, 256GB. So, base na yan at yung max. Okay, so buksan na natin siya. What? Teka, teka. Is this the same display na nakita ko sa Note 35G? Parang hindi. Parang mas premium siya tingnan. Mas high-end compared sa Note 35G. Parang layo. Wait lang, ito, ito yung tura ng Note 35G ko ah. Let's compare. Ay, grabe. Ito, ito po yung dalawa. Ito si VIP, ito si Note 35G. And as you can see, napaka-bright po ni VIP. At yung punch hole, napakaliit. And guys, tinan sa gilid. Flat na flat po yung display ni Note 30 VIP. May konting umbok, eh no? Sa gilid. Itong Note 30 5G. Tingnan nyo na yung bezels guys. Grabe, ang laki ng difference. Sorry, nag-compare lang ako kasi akala ko same lang yung dimensions ng display. Same lang lahat. Yung laki. Babalin yung laki niya ng konti. Mas maliit siya ng konti. Pero for me, the 6.67 inch is the right size. Malaki na siya. The shape is really nice on this. Hindi siya yung parang super haba tingnan. Like the Note 35G. Para mas elegant siya tingnan. Mas premium, mas malakas yung dating para sa akin. By the way, 6.67 inch, 120Hz AMOLED display, 1080p na po to. Na up to 900 nits of brightness daw siya. Super bright po itong display. What a spectacle it is to watch on this display. Gusto ko pakita no, in comparison sa Note 35G. Sobrang sagad po ng content dito sa YouTube when you're watching on the VIP. How is this possible for something 13,000 pesos? is beyond me. Ibang level ang pinapakita niya. Kasi usually guys, mga ganito klaseng level of tech, nasa 20,000 pesos na. Believe me, the screen is smooth, it's fast, grabe ang bilis ng phone. This is simply incredible. <laughs> grabe nakaka-inlove yung display. Nanonood lang ako dito pero <laughs> sobrang na-impress ako. Sarap mag-Facebook, ang bilis, ang smooth tingnan, ang ganda ng color, yung white, ang white masyado. Blacks are really Really black, sobrang deep. Pero sa YouTube talaga, ay grabe. Everything looks so good on this display. Grabe naman yung details. At may HDR pa, up to 4K ang kanyang YouTube. So, yun nga, napansin ko, medyo super saturated yung profile. Dito sa YouTube. Yan ako, yung red, sobrang red. Greens are very green. Pero what a beautiful looking display talaga siya. Napakaganda po. I think sobrang to para sa presyo na meron siya. Feeling ko, ang hirap na mag-recommend ng kahit ano ibang phone after ng review na to. Ibang klase na to. Kaya pala next level yung sinasabi niya, no? Infinix. Next level yung kanyang marketing. Gano'n kaya kabilis to? Ang tuto benchmark, 800,000 points! I was wrong. Kaya 700,000. Kasi meron isang other phone na same yung processor niya. Pero 700,000 points na po siya ang tuto. This one got us 800,000 points sa Antutu Benchmark. Dahil 21GB yung RAM, naka plus 100 pala pag ganun kalaki yung RAM mo. Gusto ko nang itry sa Mobile Legends agad to. Here we go. Oh. My. God. Nakita nyo ba yan? Do you see what I see? This game benefits so well sa AMOLED display. Dahil sa colorful nature niya, cartoonish yet napakagandang vibrant lighting effects ng mga skills. Also, look at the settings Ultra, ultra, agad-agad. Wala nang update-update. Grabe. Dare I say, the graphics is on par with my iPhone 14 Pro Max in terms of yung graphical fidelity. I am seeing the same level of smoothness. Wala pong lag to ah. Walang frame drops on a reveal all throughout. And it's not low resolution. It is high resolution gameplay. Sobrang optimized po ng phone to for this game. Grabe ang optimization, guys. I can't believe it. And the sounds, this sounds so good. Gano'ng kaganda? Vince, di ba meron si Note 35G? Yung JBL? Yeah, you're right. Pero kasi, napansin namin, iba ang sound quality nilang dalawa. Mas malakas po ang volume nito. Not only that, mas pulido yung sound, mas crisp. This one is so clean. The sound quality is also next level. Also, dual speakers din siya. Parang meron siyang 180 surround effect. I like that so much. Much more immersive sa gameplay. Speaking of immersion, ito ba yung Call of Duty? Grabe na, when I'm playing this game right now, I just feel na nandun ako. Dahil siguro ng tulong ng JBL speakers, dito na lang shine si JBL. Para feeling ko lang ha, uh, hindi dapat nilagay yung JBL dun sa Note 30 5G and 4G. Because of the lack of volume and sound quality, I was expecting from a JBL product.
or branding. Ito guys, dito mo talaga siya may expect. Dito mo siya mahanap yung quality ni JBL. And it really delivers. Also, the performance that 800,000 points in Antutu benchmark is no joke. Kitang kita ko dito kung gaano ka smooth yung gameplay. Wala pong frame drops. The settings, right here, ayan na po. Very high graphics and max frame rates. Wala siyang 90 FPS mode. Sayang. Pero feeling ko, kaya naman niya yun. Pero ito, feeling ko sa Genshin Impact. Although, maganda. Maganda yung implementation. I can see at the highest graphical settings available, kaya niya po. You can have fun with this setting. It can push out 50 to 60 FPS. No problems. Kaya lang. Noong nag-i-switch na ako ng mga characters, at ginagawa ko yung combo ko, yung mga finisher nila, yun lang. Umiinit na. Doon, doon siya umiinit. Doon talaga nag-trigger yung kanyang pag-iinit. Yung feeling ko pinapush niya yung more graphical power. Kapag merong something big is about to happen sa screen. So, nilower down ko sa medium, hindi po siya uminit. Kahit po sa high, huwag nyo lang i-high settings. I-high nyo, pero huwag high sa ibang settings. Parang balance lang siya na high. Walang highest. Just high, 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 high. Ganun po. That is when I realized, no, na wow, for something 13K, kaya niyang gawin to. I don't think any other phone, except for another phone I just reviewed recently, there's only two phones right now under 14, 15K that can actually do this against an impact. This one has a much, much bigger RAM. Pero compared dun sa other phone na review ko, yung processor niya, mas na blown away ako dito sa Infinix Note 30 VIP. Pero hindi ko inasahan na yung display niya ay ibang iba pala. Yung kanyang processor ay mas mabilis, mas optimized. Yung kanyang sound quality, Ibang iba, mas next level compared dun sa Note 30 5G and 4G. Which makes me believe that this could be undeniably the best gaming phone for under 15K. I think dito palang sold na ako, pero meron pa siyang camera section part. Guys, meron pala yung 108MP camera niya. Sa una, inisip mo, parang baka kulang to sa camera. Siyempre, gaming phone na yun, diba? Mabilis niya mag-charge, maganda rin graphics, maganda rin yung display. The camera was surprisingly very good. Actually, so good, dare I say, this is the better camera phone compared dun sa kaprocessor niya na. Hindi ko kasi pwedeng sabihin dito sa video na yun, guys. Pero alam niyo na yan, kung sinong phone yun, but this is actually much better. Judging from the images pa lang nila, the pictures look a lot more appealing, mas detailed. Maganda yung background blur. Hindi alam na hindi siya ganun ka-accurate. Yung colors ay medyo enhanced para mas Instagrammable. At some parts, yung green ay medyo... Really green. Hindi po siya ganito yung itsura niya sa real life. But, ito kasi yung gusto ng mga Gen Z ngayon. Yung parang one click lang. Okay na agad. Upload na. Ayaw na nila mag-edit-edit -edit, guys. Aminin natin. Sino, sino ba dyan yung nag-edit pa after mag picture? Yung iba dyan, gusto lang ng tamang angulo. Kaya muntami silang pictures kung na cellphone. Kasi hindi nila gustuhan. Tignan mo si Beng, oh. Ayan, ang dami niyang picture dito. Yan. So, ganyan po yung itsura ng gallery ng mga babae. You have 20 duck faces, 20 pouty lips, 30 different smiles, at isa lang po doon ang kanalang ipopost sa Facebook. Pero this one helps big time kasi nga, hindi mo na kailangan mag-edit-edit uh, edit pa. Kailangan mo na lang yung tamang angle mo, di ba? Just one shot, maganda ka na, pogi ka na, malinis po, tingnan yung mga pictures dito. And here is the video. Woo, ang smooth ng video ah. Well, this one is the stabilization. Meron pa siya ultra steady on na up to 1080p 30 frames per second. You can shoot videos up to 4K 30fps. Meron din siyang 1080p 60fps. May film mode din siya, which if you need on the go ng isang editor na pang mabilis ang editing lang. Meron din siya super night mode. Ito po yung mga low light shots. Ito po yung photo mode versus the super night mode. And there you go. Much better lighting exposure, and overall image quality. Guys, mayroon po siyang 32MP selfie camera. Wow! Lahat na lang ng numbers, no? Malalaki. It is an explosive phone. Very sharp. Very artistahan yung dating. That is the beautification of the selfie camera. Astig! Kinumpleto na niya. Kasi hindi lang to perfect para sa gaming, but also for doing selfies, picture taking sa mga party-party, and even vlogging. Hi guys, ito yung sample ng... Vlogging camera or yung selfie camera, 32 megapixels. And here's my voice. Okay ba siya on this video? Let me know guys in the comments below if okay kanyang sound quality. So, well actually yung aking color sa studio is tama dito. Hindi po siya bluish. Although a little bit magenta. Lapit tayo ng konti dito sa ilaw kung maayos yan. Ayan, nice na. Ayan, normal na siya. Ganda na skin tone. You know? Oh my god. So this is a vlogging camera. Worth $13,999. How awesome is that? The price for this phone, well, right now, yung kanyang 21GB is extended RAM. In reality, it's actually 12GB of RAM. Kumamit siya ng extra 9GB, kinuha from the 256GB of ROM, which is yung magic na nangyayari ngayon sa extended RAM. 
But the pricing is only 13,999 pesos for the 12 256 gigabytes variant. Well, it's a little new variant, yeah. But yeah, this is it. This is the phone that beats all phones. Period. Ito po yung hari ng mid-range phone. Under 15K. There's nothing else down there or up there that could beat it right now. Not unless, no ba siya ng bagong Infinix Note 40. Or something else from Transient beats this. Feeling ko lang. Kasi I'm not seeing that from other brands. Isa na po siyang bituin na mahirap na abutin. And feeling ko, isa ring bituin ang makakatalo sa kanya. <laughs> this one is a beast. Bilhin nyo na. Again, let me know guys in the comments below if you wanna see a full review of the Infinix Note 30 VIP. Mag-subscribe ka lang. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content about the bins. And you're watching Unbox Ladies. Ooh!